Right, guys over here in uh, a Walmart parking lot um, hold on I'm getting a phone call forever getting a phone call it's everyone's favorite Matt the Prophet hello Matt the Prophet right. hey you're, you're live on YouTube right now what do you have to say to everyone I'm tired what do you have to say about storm work it's it's amazing especially when you get 230 hours in I, we've been working for what? Is today our seventh day? Yes. So I have. I, I had like a. Saturday, yeah. I had like 112 hours in seven. Well, in six days. 112 hours in six days. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, you had. You, yeah, had, we're you had more than me. We're doing all kinds of stuff. Yeah, Matt did. Matt went to recover an asset yesterday and ran over an alligator by accident. It's, the alligator is okay for anybody out there that's... The, the alligator is okay. And, and then Matt used like a massive skid loader to, to load up. Yeah, it, it, was, it was crazy. All right, well, let me go film this video quick before I get a, uh, a route. Yeah, I got a route right now. All right. Well, I'll, I'll, I'm going to get one here in like the next 10 minutes, so I got to knock this video out. Okay. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. We are here at a Walmart in uh, Jackson, Mississippi. And I just want to talk to you guys real quick about um, what I got in my truck when I'm doing storm work. So you kind of work, you live, and you do everything out of the truck. Um, I have a trailer that I take with me that I haul like 13 of these fuel transfer tanks on them. Uh, I supply some of my guys with them for the first couple storms until uh, they decide like, hey, I want to keep doing this and they're going to get their own. Uh, but these are a necessity on the storm. And then I have like a toolbox up front where I carry a lot of PPE stuff, high vis vests, safety glasses, hard hats. I'll just make sure that my guys have what they need. Um, this video might sound different. I'm using the mic on the camera. I think the mic, the external mic I had was making that rattling noise. So I think that's why everyone's like, damn, you need to get a new camera. I'm trying to figure it out. So this will be the video to tell the tale. Uh, but all right, so you need to have a three quarter ton truck. Uh, I have a 2019 Ford F450, a little bit, I'd say a little bit too nice. No, nah, it's not too nice. You can come out here with any truck, but uh, obviously I got the big wide tires on it, so it makes it difficult getting into some sites, but uh, you, you do what you can. So I got a scratch right there from a tree. So if you're not like worried about it, I'm not really too worried about it. It's a work truck. You got in order to pay for this truck, I have to work. So if I don't work, I don't pay for the truck. So yeah, that's how it goes. Uh, so you gotta have a three quarter ton truck uh, and a pintle hitch. So I run these uh, Gen Y hitches right here. This one's a torsion style hitch. So it's a little bit uh, more extreme, but they have the real cool pintle lock feature on there. So two and five sixteenths ball, two and in, two inch ball, and then the pintle lock for it, which is great. This is uh, is awesome. So. Uh, some other things that I take with me, obviously you get the transfer tanks, whether you supply your own or I supply you with one. Uh, in order to be supplied with one, I have to be there at the same yard as you to get one. So I try to keep all my guys together, but right now I got guys at three different yards. So I'm actually going from one yard today, gonna do a refuel route on down near another yard, then go to that yard and check on my guys. But I have two 100 gallon transfer tanks in my truck. On the bigger storms like this, where it's tough getting fuel, it's pretty good to have the uh, multiple tanks. You gotta think, if you go to refuel an asset and it takes 100 gallons, you're slam out, you gotta go back to the yard. There's 200 other guys out there that are trying to refuel their transfer tanks and their trucks to go and, and do more, and there's one tanker truck. Getting fuel down here from a gas station, extremely difficult. Now, power's starting to come back up seven days in, but for the first four or five days, the only way you were getting fuel was going to the yard, getting it from the tanker. Um, one very important thing I have, especially on these bigger events like this, uh, we do a lot of um, snowstorms where they're like, you know, three, four days. Uh, we do some straight line wind storms. Uh, anytime there's, there's, you know, I'd say somewhat severe power outages, we go to work. Uh, but 
on a storm like this, you know, when you go down to some of these yards or we, I went, that first video I made down here, we went 132 miles and it took us 16 and a half hours. So if you don't have food, you're in trouble. So I have a cooler. Uh, I got a nice Yeti cooler. My sister got it for me for Christmas one year, my birthday. And um, I got like lunch meat in there. I got a bunch of drinks. I got Monster Energies. Uh, I got Starbucks coffee in there, like some stuff to keep me going. Uh, and then I got like peanut butter jelly. I got bread. Uh, I got some lunch meat. Got um, got to have your, your spicy mustard. You can't go anywhere without your spicy mustard, let's be honest. Um, so I got my bread in here. I got a Ziploc bag for some like little snacks. Uh, rain gear, very important to have, especially on a hurricane. Rain gear, rain boots. I got my bag. I take my bag with me everywhere. Some nights we stay in the hotel. A couple nights we had to stay in the truck, but I take my bag with me everywhere. Then I got my computer bag. My truck has Wi-Fi, which makes it very convenient for me because uh, I do uh, some admin stuff just for uh, JDR and keeping track of everyone's hours, where they're at, who's got what equipment uh, is very helpful. Case of water. Case of water is useful. Uh, I got a little tool set down here, some hand tools. I also have a toolbox um, somewhere back there. I have a, a whole, oh, there's my toolbox. Uh, the speakers are slightly inconvenient, not gonna lie. I scratched my powder coating with a chainsaw, but we'll live work truck. Um, got my, my ball for towing gooseneck. I did have a chainsaw. I lent it to one of my guys though, so he's got the chainsaw right now, so I gotta get that back from him at some point. Um, some like simple hand tools. Uh, you could do a lot of the stuff you could do with uh, a flathead screwdriver, um, a pair of cutters, and an Allen key. You can you can do just about anything if you have that. But it's good to have other tools. Sometimes you have to uh, take a uh, Appleton out. So if you have some sockets and stuff like that, it makes it a little bit better. Uh, some other things I got in here. Let's see what I got. Oh, I got my work boots. Uh, whenever I'm on the yard or, or working, I put my work boots on. I just got my shoes on now. I got slides. Got some paperwork here. Probably shouldn't show. I got some more paperwork in there. Probably shouldn't show. Um, yeah, I mean that's that's a basic rundown. Uh, staying in the truck, I I have a little bit better access, so I get to go in the toter sometimes. Uh, but I did stay in my truck two days, so having a blanket and a pillow probably wouldn't hurt. I use my rain pants as a pillow and my rain jacket as a blanket and we got it done. So it's not ideal. We generally don't sleep in the trucks, but on, you know, you're talking about a Cat 4 hurricane where there's just power, like you'll drive for three hours and they won't have power for three hours straight. So it's a little bit, um, a little bit different, you know? So sometimes you gotta stay in your trucks. Uh, I do have some sad news to report. I did lose three wheel spikes. Uh, it was not, not intended use, but it, it happens and unfortunately, uh, they are going to die somewhere in Louisiana. I know exactly what happened. I went to a site and there was a tree down and some guys were there before me and they cut an access path through like for the tree and my truck was a whole lot wider than theirs. So that's what I get for having the big dually, having the big spikes and all that stuff. But I just sent it anyways and um, that's, that's the outcome. Uh, truck's doing great, got that Schaefer's oil in there. Since I had that oil change before, I did a video talking about the oil change. We're about to go to uh, Connecticut, I think, Rhode Island, to do some storm work up there, which was maybe like two and a half weeks ago. I put uh, almost 6,000 miles on my truck. So we have been getting it. We've been hauling stuff. We've been getting work done. If you guys are interested in doing the storm work, it pays good. Uh, I'd say the hardest part about the storm work is the um, time frame. I got a bunch of guys on standby for this one, uh, and then it ended up being just like so spread out. It was a little bit different than, you know, one in North Carolina, where one in North Carolina, it's like all hands on deck. This one wasn't quite all hands on deck, but I got a bunch of, a bunch of guys out here, a bunch of really good guys. Uh, saw some new guys out here, and I got a bunch of other new guys on the list that have come to me, whether from, whether it being YouTube or Facebook or word of mouth, and I'm excited to get some guys started. Um, working and put some money in their pocket it, it's super enjoyable gig i got a great group of guys communication between us is great so as far as training someone get learning the ropes it's 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 awesome so uh, that's gonna wrap today's video i think I, I just heard my phone ring so i probably got a text i gotta go to work so i'm gonna slap this in there not edit it at all uh just upload it and then you guys are going to uh to watch it so want to get back to racing soon whenever we get done here uh this is the uh the job is the work that helps pay for a lot of the stuff that we do on the channel. So got to go and, and work first and play later. 
so that's what we got going on but i do want to thank you guys for watching like always comment like subscribe if you guys like the storm videos um i appreciate it because i'm trying you're trying to make as much content as i can while working it's very difficult so thank you guys so much for watching like always comment like subscribe we'll see you guys in tomorrow's upload he get to buy this round don Don got to buy this round the black sheep on the property he got to buy for the next round Thank you.